Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com. Today I have a Fix It Friday video for you on hand placement on the bench. All right, probably something that you're probably wondering yourself, where do I place my hands on the bar? I'm gonna show you how to go about finding that, that spot in the bar you wanna place your hand. Now for everyone, it's gonna be different, depends on your body structure. So I have Juliana and Alex here today helping me out. Now, what first thing I'm looking for is how you look in the bottom position. All right, and what I'm looking for in the bottom is about 45 degrees out with the elbow. So you don't want to be out here because then you're just going to be utilizing shoulders, right? You're stretching your chest, utilizing shoulders out here. And you don't want to be in here because that's just close grip. You're just going to be using your triceps. But you want to have a nice 45 degree balance. See, it almost forms a 45 degree angle because um, that's going to allow her to tap into her lats, her shoulders, her triceps. Um, and her chest is all evenly. She's going to be using the most muscle mass possible in that position, that 45 degree position. Um, so that's where I want her to be in the bottom position with the bar. So we're just going to make her hands match that. All right. So why don't you grab onto the bar? So I'm not cueing her anything right now. I just want to see where she ends up. So what she did here, you always the first thing you always want to measure out from something on the bar. So whether you do a finger on the ring, which a lot of people will do, or you take like a thumb out from the smooth, you have to have a way of measuring your hands out from the bar so you know where you are on each side, okay? So that's what she did, she did a thumb out from the smooth. So I you take that, help her out. Let's see where she ends up. So she's trying to form that 45 degree angle. All right, so that looks like a good placement for her. She's got that 45 degree tuck. So she'll place it thumb out from the smooth. Now let's re-rack it. And let's, let's take a wider grip to see what happens. Go even a little wider than that, just to demonstrate here. Maybe like a middle finger on the ring. And take it out. Now see here, this ends up putting her a little wider than 45 degree angle in the bottom. And also what's important to note here is you want that elbow driving right under the wrist. So if you're a little too close and you try to keep 45 degrees, but you're too close on the bar, it's going to end up looking awkward. You want to demonstrate that, so re-rack it. So now you're going to take an excessively close grip. So grab right here. Take it out. Now try to form a 45 degree angle coming down. Now see where her hands are? They aren't right aligned right above her elbow. You need that alignment in the bottom. So that's the two things. You want that elbow position. You can bring it back. You want that 45 degree elbow position to allow you to tap into all the muscle groups. And then basically defining your hand placement uh, wherever you need to be in order to keep that alignment in the bottom position. All right, so that's how you're gonna find your hand placement. A uh, really simple thing, there's only two steps to it. Keep that alignment and then whatever hand position allows you to stay aligned in the bottom, wrist over elbow, because that's how you're gonna be able to transfer the most force into the bar, all right? So that's pretty much it. That's how you go about finding your hand placement. Once you find that hand placement, um, remember make sure you have a way of measuring out from the bar, whether it's a finger on the ring or you're measuring out from the smooth, just so you're consistent with that. Uh, that'll be a game changer once you find that right bar uh, hand placement on the bar. All right, Coach Ben here, BigBenches.com. Just shoot me an email, Coach Ben at BigBenches.com. All right, if you want to learn more about our online training, just shoot me an email. I'll see you guys next Friday.